So you recently created the Women in Jazz Media Group and I was just wondering uh, what inspired you? Was it inspired by like a specific event or did it kind of evolve? Well, it was inspired by a specific event, actually, um, but but also it's been in my in my head for quite some time. I, I'm terrible for looking through. I say terrible. I look through all these kind of different jazz publications, uh, and I and I look at who writes the articles. You know, I look at an article. Like, oh, who writes that? You know, and uh, a lot of the publications. You know, you can click on team, and it has a list of names, and you can see the team. And I and I'm always doing this. And of course, I'm always oh you know, where are the women, you know, or what, why is everyone white, uh, you know, and I'm terrible and I always do that and I can't help it. It's not a deliberate thing. I just seem to kind of, you know, look at this. And, and there was one particular publication, which I won't name uh, or, um, because it's not a name and shame thing, but, you know, I, I, there was one particular publication and I looked on their team and there was this massive page and they all had photos. Uh, and I counted up, there was 52 writers. And I was like, well, oh, that's incredible. Mm-hmm. And there were four women. Um, and I just basically was like, no, do you know what? I've just had enough. I've just, I've, I've had enough of looking at kind of pages like this. I need, I need to do something. Um, and on the same day, there was a situation with, um, uh, and again, I, I, I won't go into too much detail, but there was, there was some unhealthy um, kind of, you know, talk uh, kind of with some writers, uh, a little bit of bullying. It just, it, it just was, it didn't feel like a, a kind of, you know, a healthy environment. And those two things on that specific day, I was just like, right, do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to start a page. Mm-hmm. And I, I initially just thought, well, I'm just going to set up a Facebook page uh, and create a community and, and, and kind of take it from there. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and here we are, I think, is it three <laughs> months later, I seem to have this organization i've got a team of 10 people um we've got so many um projects happening uh and um support from so many different publications i mean i mean it's an incredible it's you know it shows that there was a need for it you know looking at the diversity of the behind the scenes because i think there's some amazing things going on for women who are performing and female composers which mm. i'm equally passionate about i have to say because quite often people think is it okay about and i'm like no 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 <laughs> for me it's about the whole jazz industry being as beautiful and diverse as it can be um, but i couldn't find anything that was focusing on the writers and the authors mm. and the photographers um so uh yeah so that's that's kind of how i started that really i was i, I was, was on gonna, one <laughs> well i was gonna say it does it ties in very nicely with the sort of key change initiative and and I'm sure people probably did the same thing looking through programs of jazz you know the jazz lineups and well it's all very male and you know oh. that led to, to great things happening with uh, you know sort of 50 50. Um, that, well that's the thing there's so many amazing things coming you know going on which is part of what we support actually of course with women in jazz media um but yeah it's just also adding support if you like to the other side of it because I think you know if there's uh, if there's more women writing then they're more likely to write about women you know and what's interesting is I've had so many emails for the women in jazz media uh, from female artists you know because they would prefer a female writer you know I've just released this new album do you have a writer who might review it uh, and I think it's just you know the, the jazz scene is beautifully diverse mm. um, you know so why why is it not from every angle you know I think you know I think if we have more people more female writers but more diversity of writers then we will see you know the true diversity of, of the work that's out there definitely and I, I really love the language in your mission statement because I was looking at it earlier and words that kind of stood out to me were like encourage collaborate promote celebrate and I just think that you know that's really wonderful I don't know if you can unpack the mission statement oh, well yeah and as I say could I started this page off and I say it was two things it was one it's like you know you know we want more women out there you know I looked at this page with with barely any women so I was like well I you know I, there must you know I want more women on there where are the women how can we connect with the women and then I was like well you know do they need support is there women out there but we don't know about it so how can how can we support and collaborate and then I was like so that's existing writers perhaps they're not writing very much because they need some support but then also how do we get new writers it's like actually we want younger and more exciting kind of female writers so what do they need um so yeah and for me I just kind of was looking at a combination of different things and and ultimately it's about absolutely promoting and supporting what's already there and shouting about all the amazing women that are out there but then ultimately the aim is that eventually we have a fully diverse and equal jazz uh, kind of industry from my point of view it's not that I want 
kind of women to take over <laughs> the jazz media yeah. side it's yeah. it's all about that that correct balance um and what's amazing is having these publications on board you know they sign up and from my point of view um if they say that they're officially supporting us that means they welcome female writers mm -hmm. and we've already in a short time we've got a couple of women um who are now writing for two online publications where there were no women at all so oh. we're quite excited yeah. but, you know so it's all about you know and that's where i think the official publications and working with different kind of groups and organizations helps because it's like it's not about me it's not about any particular kind of one thing it's about let's really have this amazing collaborative diverse jazz industry it's like if we all work together it can happen sounds amazing so who, who's on your women in jazz media team Oh, well, this is the other thing, because as um, as this escalated, I was just like, I can't I can't do this on my own. This yeah. is, you know, and also I didn't want it to be about me um, because an article came out and it was this kind of, you know, very diva-ish, you know, Fiona Ross starts this new kind of organisation. Uh, and it was amazing for a promotion of the women in jazz media, but mm -hmm. I, I freaked out a bit, to be honest, because I was like, no, 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 this is not about me. This is, you know, this is not about me doing it. This, that's, you know, mm -hmm. and so I very quickly thought, okay, you know, I can't can't do this on my own and I don't want to do it on my own it's it's a community um so yeah I've got this incredible team and what's lovely again it's that diverse range mm -hmm. um so a Shaney White for example um she um she's one of the writers who's just she's brand new she's just started writing she's just had her first article published and um, but she's taking the lead on podcasts mm -hmm. so she loves interviewing artists um, so, you know, so that's her passion and that's what she's developing. So she does our podcast series. But then I've also got um, Monica, who she's one of the official photographers at Ronnie Scott's. Um, so, you know, photography obviously is her passion. Um, and we've got, I mean, there's, yeah, there's uh, there's 10 of us all together at the moment. I've got a couple of, um, I've been working with the London South Bank University with some third year uh, journalism students. Because again, for me, it's about that range. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, how do, you know, I wanted to hit every age range and kind of see what can we do. So like right from the beginning to kind of where we are now. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've got a couple of uh, uh, wonderful young women who have just joined and um, that are journalism students and they're looking at social media. Um, I've got Aminia Yardley, she's a fabulous Italian writer. So I've got, so we've got cats from Germany, Aminia's Italian, uh, Ash is kind of London. We've got this incredibly diverse team as well, which as it should be. Uh, and I do actually have a man which was quite I know <laughs> I know and it's funny because I've had a few people who um you know have, have messaged me go oh, I'd love to support but I'm a man <laughs> and you know and the thing is we're already on board as women yeah we're already kind of there you know doing our thing and actually it's it's men you know some men obviously um that we want on board and and getting that change of mindset mm -hmm. um so yeah we welcome men to be involved as much as as much as possible um so yes we've got this fabulous team and I'm, we're extremely lucky because i think the more the more we have the more we can achieve Oh, yeah. yeah, there's only so much one person can do, obviously. So, um, yeah, so I love the fact that this team is growing and growing and growing and we have so many amazing things happening. Well, you spoke about the fact uh, about starting like different ages. And uh, I know this year, Jazz North are delighted that we have women in jazz media on board as, as a partner organisation for our Jazz Camp for Girls. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> so we now have our... our, our uh, Girls in, in jazz media. Girls in jazz media, yes. <laughs> so if, if any young girls are interested in coming in today, what can they expect from the media workshops? Oh, honestly, I, I'm genuinely very excited about this. And as I say, once I get these ideas, then I'm like, okay, well, we need to do all these different things. And as I said to you about age range, it's kind of like, well, you know, how can we make sure that young girls know that you know, a career in jazz is an option, uh, you know, how do they know that? You know, have they seen any role models or any women that have done kind of incredible things? I was like, well, how, how can we kind of share that? And also, what is it? You know, and I have but some people said jazz media. Well, what, what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. um, so what we're doing is we're looking at it from a storytelling point of view um, and, and obviously whether that's telling your story as a as a jazz musician or as a jazz artist yourself or whether it's telling someone else's story mm -hmm. um so that'll be looking at photography you know so if you think about an album cover for example you look at an album cover 
that's a story. You know, that, that, that photo is telling a story. Or if you're listening to a podcast, so you might be interviewing someone, you know, so you're going to be asking questions. Well, what questions do you have to ask? What story are, are they trying to tell? Mm-hmm. Uh, and obviously writing, you know, whether you're um, interviewing someone or writing an article about an artist. So, um, yes, yeah, so we've got this incredible team uh, of people involved um, to, yeah, under the heading of storytelling. So I'm, I'm hoping it will kind of uh, help the girls feel confident and say, well, do you know what? The power you have as a storyteller, whatever medium you choose, as I say, whether you want to interview people on a podcast or whether you want to write an ask article or take a photo, you know, the power you have as someone who can tell stories. Uh, and that's transferable across, you know, everything, uh, not just jazz, but of course our, our focus is jazz. That sounds absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Thank you.